Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from a prism. From the topic ray optics, the problem is like this. A ray of light incident normally on one face of a prism of prism angle 30 degree. So it's very clear, it's not a thin prism, it's a thick prism. And is made up of a material having a refractive index of root 2. What is the angle of deviation produced by the light ray? That's the question, right? So let us try to draw a small diagram. So this is the prism. The instant light ray is normal to the prism. This is the normal and this itself is the light ray. So what we can say is the angle of incidence on the first phase is equal to 0. Being angle of incidence is 0, angle of refraction at the first phase is also going to be equal to 0. So it goes like this. Then it takes a certain path. Here there is again some another angle of incidence which we show as per the prism standards as R2. We have derived these conditions also in the chapter in the respective topic. Please refer into if we are having a doubt. Now, this is the second normal that I have drawn. As the light ray is trying to move from rarer medium to denser medium, it moves away from the normal. So, it's how it goes. So, how much it has got deviated when compared with the original light ray? What's the deviation? That's what our question is, right? So, this becomes automatically my I2 at the second phase. This is the angle of the prism which is given for you as something like 30 degree. So if you remember back the deviation, uh, my CA, I have no problem for I1 given already in the problem. Incident normally so I1 equal to 0. I have also no problem for A, angle of the prism is given to you in the 30 degree. The only problem that I have is to solve it further. I2 is not given for us. I cannot solve it because it's not given for us. So before I have to before to solve the problem, I need to first of all find out, figure out what is that I2 is. But anyway, as the angle of incidence is zero, angle of refraction is also zero. If you remember, we have also proved that angle of the prism, we had an equation in a video for the refractive index of the prism where I have proved all this. Please see that if you are not aware of these things. It's given that angle of the prism is 30 degree. R1 is anyway 0, R2. That implies I got R2 equal to 30 degree. It is also given that refractive index of the prism is root 2. Knowing R2 on the second surface, you don't know. Sin R2 is automatically sin 30. That implies sin I2 equal to root 2 into sin 30. Sin 30 one automatically I2 is nothing but it's problem is easy for me. It's 45 degree, so weighted by front light rate and the emerging light rate. That's it. This is how I can solve the problem. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.